Me in the club, bottle full of bug. Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the box. I mean, I have a sex, I ain't in the making love. So come give me a hug if you ain't getting rough. You can find me in the club, bottle full of bug. Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the box. I mean, I have a sex, I ain't in the making love. So come give me a hug if you ain't getting rough. When I pull up out front, you see the Benz on deal. When I roll 20 deep, it's always drama in the club. Now that I roll with Dre, everybody show me love. When you sell like a minute, you can plenty. A goofy look, but homie ain't nothing changed. Rolls down, G's up. I see exhibit in the cutting man, rolling trees up. Bro, if you watch how I move, you mistake before I play up. Been hit with a few shells, but I don't walk with a limp. In the hood, in the lady saying 50, you hot. They like me, I want them to love me like they love pop. But I let New York with shell, they tell you I'm loco. And the plan is to put the rap game in the chump. So I'm fully focused, man. My money on my mind, got a meal out the deal, and I'm still in the grind. That shorty says she feelin' my staff, she feelin' my flow. A girl from Woody, they buy and they ready to you go You can find me in the club, bottle full of bug Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the box I'm in the habit sex, I ain't in the making love So come give me a hug if you ain't getting rough You can find me in the club, bottle full of bug Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the box I'm in the habit sex, I ain't in the making love So come give me a hug if you ain't getting rough Go, 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 go. So Destiny 2 is a game with many weapons and you know it makes you wonder sometimes especially when it comes to something like a sniper which I consider is the most powerful weapon in the game at least comes to PvP side of the game but it makes you wonder what is the best one and how do we find that out I guess we just start from the beginning then So to start this quest off where you are looking for the perfect sniper, you have to probably go and ask around. If you don't have much knowledge about, you know, PvP in general, then that would probably be the best idea. I was thinking of looking into, you know, Aachen, but then I thought about it. It's a blue sniper and it doesn't have any special perks, so I can just scrap that off the list instantly. But I decided to go and ask my community in general to see if they had an answer. And there is a lot of them saying beloved. So I guess let's just show off what beloved can do then. Roll the clips.
If you were worried I wasn't gonna mention the sniper you said, then don't worry, I will mention all of them right now. And the ones I'm gonna go over is Persuader, which is the new sniper from the season, as keep away opening shot, but sadly it's a rapid frame, so it's already put down the tears, so I'm not gonna go over it more. You have Luna Regalith, I showed it in the opening, and this thing is good and all, it has something called high ground, but it's just not worth using on a, you know, overall basis and best tier sniper you have locus and this is a seasonal sniper i would say this is a good pick but you know it doesn't cut it with the other snipers that i'm gonna go over last foray this thing is really really bad but you know i'll, I'll cut it some slack because this is supposed to be a pve sniper not a pvp so that one's off the list soul survivor soul survivor sadly didn't get the perks it needed to be good and it puts it in automatically, just B tier. A Distant Pull is a sniper I haven't used too much, and it has actually really good perks, but it's the same problem as Prosecutor has, and it's the fact that it's a rapid fire, so it already goes down the tear. Supremacy, same problem, same perks. Good sniper, but it's a rapid fire. Butter the Fox, actually a really good one. I would not go with this one though because, you know, it has a really weird zoom, so you have to adjust really weirdly because it's 43. It's not too bad, it gets snap opening, which is really good. And if you're a slide freak, you can go firmly planted on top of that. But I just don't think it's good. The scope is really goofy, and overall, it's it's a pretty mid sniper. Irokanji is another, you know, rapid fire sniper. It has the same perks, but it's a rapid fire. Volta Bracket. You know, it this is actually a really good sniper overall. I would pick this up and give it a go if you want to use a strand sniper. It has keep away opening shot like all the other rapid fires, but this is a high impact sniper. So it has really good aim assist, really good cone, and it's going to feel really good from far away. It's a 50 zoom, so I'm definitely going to like it, but we're not going to go over more on that. Alberna D. This is the barricade destroyer. Right now in this meta, I would say it's really good. Sadly, it can't get snap opening, but the best side perk is elemental capacitor opening if that's what you're after. So sadly, it's you know, not as good because you can get snap and then whatever damaging perk you want. You have to go with snap and some other mid perk. The Aquila Sniper, it's actually pretty good, feels good, but problem again, it's a rapid fire. The Finds of Yasmin, it's a really popular controller sniper. But honestly, thinking about like today's society, I think it gets outclassed by other kinetic snipers. And, you know, we'll come over that later. Galu. Galu gets outclassed by far by Beloved. It's literally the same weapon, basically, but one of them has Overflow and the other one has Moving Target. It's, you know, it's pretty alright. Occluded Finality. This is definitely a go-to on controller. Go max handling on Occluded Finality if you are a controller player and this thing will give you a lot of fun. It's going to be hard for you to miss a lot of shots, but overall, I would say this is a solid pick for controller players. Silicon Aroma, another great high impact sniper, has snap opening, but I think it's the same factor that, you know, Bite of the Fox has and it has 43 zoom. It feels awkward for me to use and you know what, it's an alright sniper. It's really good, has really good handling and 
you know, overall, it's a really, really solid sniper to go for. Fuji is another PvE sniper, so if you want that, that's probably something to look at. Father Sins, I think this is another controller sniper, but it's the same factor again. It's a 140, a rapid fire sniper. Thoughtless, I think this is another solid controller sniper, but it's just not my favorite pick. It, it's, it's really good, actually. It's alright, it has a really awkward zoom level, 46, so it stands out with a lot of snipers. But if you are on controller, I would recommend to give this a go as well. The Long Walk. The Long Walk is actually a sniper I have wanting to be playing with a lot, but sadly I have never gotten the slight snapshot roll that I wanted. And, you know, I'll keep looking out for it, but I just don't think this is going to be, you know, cutting it compared to the other snipers I'm going to talk about later. Shepherd's Watch, another solid pick, but I think there are other and better adaptive frame snipers. Thousand Yard, I think this is the same as Beloved. The only difference is one of them is a 44 and the other one is 40. The difference is Beloved can get enhanced and this one can't. It's a solid pick though if you want to go and farm grass for hours upon a time, but... It's not the best. Tranquility is a weird one. The only reason I would even get Tranquility is for 100 handling and 100 stability for, you know, zero flinch. But except for that, this sniper is not really that good. It's alright, it has really bad AE, so that's already gonna cut it if you are a floaty warlock. Creative Revenge, same problem. Actually really good on controller. It might feel amazing. 100 range, 100 handling, and 100 aim assist is gonna feel amazing all day of the week. Twilight Oath another 140, and it has snap opening, and it's gonna feel great if you are a 140 fan, but it has basically zero zoom. It's the same as Father Sins and Revoker, and, you know, I wouldn't cut it personally. Far Future is actually a really good sniper. If you can live without snapshot, then I would actually try this thing out. It's a adaptive frame with basically 100 aim assist, 100 handling, and 100 range. This thing is gonna feel amazing, and I would give this a shot. Apostate, you know, this thing kind of got screwed over, in my opinion. They removed Snapshot from it, but for 140s don't really suffer that much from that. It's almost 100 range, 100 handling, and 100 aim assist, which is going to feel amazing all day of the week again. So I'd give this a go if you are a crouchy boy, because it has firmly planted, which is going to, you know, reduce your accuracy, cone size, cone growth, and give you handling and stability. So I would definitely try this thing out. Adored. This is the go-to beginner sniper, I'd say, and it's really good on controller in general. So I would definitely give this one a shot if you just started playing the game. It's really easy to get this, and it's a curated roll, so you don't have to pray that you get the god roll. Widow's Bite, it's pretty bad, honestly. I mean, it might look good. If you like to use slide shot or firmly planted on sniper, then this is going to be a good one to go with. But except for that, it's another 140, so I wouldn't really go with it. Long Shadow. Long Shadow is actually probably one of the best snipers in the game. It has really bad stats, sadly, but you can choose to scope and zoom yourself. And the difference between this one and all the other adaptives is it has scopes. I'm pretty sure it's the only one in the game that still drops with scopes, but you have to do Dares of Eternity, so good luck with that one. But it doesn't have opening shot, it only has snap moving target, which, you know, it's going to feel great for a lot of people. It even has hip far grip if you want to go around doing that. But except for that, I wouldn't go with this sniper. This in Tumulus, this thing really suffers on accuracy and range, so that already makes it bad. If you want to go with Pulse Monitor and Opening Shot, then that's going to be the only shot of you using this sniper. Except for that, I don't think this is a good pick whatsoever. Omniscient Eye, you know, it's alright, the stats are really mid on it. It's going to feel great because it's a rapid fire, but it hits for nothing, which is the problem with rapid fires. And overall, this is a pretty mid sniper. No really good rolls and no really good, you know, stats overall. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is Nagi's Burden. This thing is actually going to be really good. It has no flinch because it comes with no distractions and you can probably build into fast ADS speed with targeting mods. But it's an exotic and the only way to proc that you know, the big bullets that one shot is to reload the gun with multiple bullets. And the only way you get that is, you know, picking up ammo, which is really bad already in PvP. So I wouldn't really think this would be a pick at all, unless you play Gambit. This is probably the best Gambit sniper, but except for that, it's a, it's pretty mid and normal Crucible. 
after these snipers that I just mentioned, the next one I'm going to talk about is Succession. Now, the reason I'm going with Succession first is because the only reason Succession is even this high up is mainly because of its scope. First of all, it's craftable, so you can get enhanced moving target, enhanced snapshot, which of course isn't the best, but it's alright. It's really good, actually. But... The scope. The scope of succession. Actually, fuck it. Just let, let me just show you what it can do. Look how open this site is. That's why succession is so nice. And its counterpart to that one is Frozen Orbit. Now, Frozen Orbit doesn't have the exact same scope, but I was going to do a more in depth, you know montage-esque thing on frozen orbit then decided not to i have a few more snipers I need to do before that and then i can go to the last two which is going to be a very challenging you know pick but frozen orbit and succession they go in the same tier but all of these snipers i'm going to talk about now are s tier so just pay attention now i'm going to put the macabre on this tier because they changed up the perk pool see this is the new one that's coming out this halloween and as you see, it has now Keep Away and Adrenaline Junkie, and also High Ground. But if we go on the old macabre, it used to have something called Swashbuckler, which, when you think about it, is really, really strong on a sniper, especially on an aggressive frame. Think about it. It gives you 33% damage buff after a melee kill. And how do you get melee kills? Well, there's mo multiple ways. There's throwing knives, there's shatter from stasis lock, there's knockout punch titans. It's very easy to get a melee kill. And guess what you can do after? Well, just watch this. <laughs> Honestly, Macabre is one of the most fun snipers to play with, but sadly it doesn't have Swashbuckler anymore, so I feel like it ruins the spirit. But that's besides the point. I rate this underneath the next snipers because the next sniper on the list is listen closely. It's CloudStrike. And you're wondering, how can there be more snipers after CloudStrike? After the nerf, I just don't think it's that much relevant anymore. And on top of that, you have kinetic snipers that pair very well with something like Igneous Hammer. Of course, you have good weapons to pair with kinetic weapons, like Rose, but I don't think Cloud Strike is that good anymore. I'm sorry, Synchro, but no, 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 no. You were the only one who said Cloud Strike, that's the funny part. Anyway, this is Cloud Strike, my dudes. <laughs>
She's a freaky young gal, a bisexual, but a hustler though, and a sale some snow. With that juicy fat thing, I can't let you go. What she doing, man, with all that, I bet you know. Baby girl, take them trips down to Mexico. Get them birds and that herb and receive her dough. Clock tick like a brain when she scheme a plot. Set players up a change and receive a knot. My thing staying on hard, make that Gucci pop. Or suck me up till she get the last Gucci drop. The shake club never had much to offer her. A dyke ball getting up, cause it's boss with her and it's boss with me. Why you be asking what's twerking? She don't claim them, but she'll have you working. All oh, is for certain, she been that and did that. Could be a corporate lawyer or a hood. She's a ghetto type bar and her life was hard. Catching me with the dope and she'll take the charm. She's a ghetto type bar and her life was hard. Catching me with the dope and she'll take the charm. She's a ghetto type bar and her life was hard. Catching me with the dope and she'll take the She's a ghetto type bar and her life is hard Catch a beat with the dope and she'll take the charm Raise a blade in your mouth, green stuff in your stuff Fill it blunts in your purse, but that ain't enough Turning liquor bottles up with your mane as we dip Turn right, turn left, east corner, take a sip Say what's up to the big pussy clicking high pod Learner and the Nora and those who got hard Staying down with your dog till they let your dog go Jailhouse like the dog house, dog ain't no Everybody needs somebody real on their team. No letters, no visitation. Make you mean, make you wanna think. Everybody left, you for dead. And your gal that you love out there, give it head. What the past? Don't be thinking about the things that I did. I need money for some commissary. Can you dig? Take your chances for us so we can live. Put some rims on the car, shoot for the keys. She's a ghetto type bar, and her life was hard. Catch me with the dope. And she'll take now I'm gonna go do two at a time. And. We're gonna start with Uzume. See, Uzume is a sniper I have always liked and loved, but I wouldn't go with high impact reserves like most do. I love the perk Dragonfly. Because see, Dragonfly got buffed because of them removing Enhanced Dragonfly, but it's still pretty mid, but it is technically a mini Cloud Strike, which I find super fun and really cool. And I think overall this is a perfect feeling sniper. It has 50 zooms. If you are a 50 zoom sniper, then this is for you. And then, the sniper everyone has asked for, and, you know, most people predict to be the best sniper in the game. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be Mercurial Overreach. And, of course, the fact that you can get something like this is really, really good. This is what I would go with Fluted Extended Snap Opening with Short Action Stock. And look at the stats. It has 100 range, has 82 handling, and 30 AE, on top of that has 83 aim assist, which means this thing is going to be a monster, actually unstoppable. Well, since y'all wanted it, here we go, I guess. When they bang this in the club, baby, you got to get up. Cause yeah. homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up. Low life, yo life, boy, we living it up. Yeah. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Sure. Slip my girl a 44 when she crap in the back door. It's still Ray J, nigga. AK, nigga. Though I've grown a lot, can't keep it home a lot. It's when I frequent the spots that I'm known to rock. You hear the bass from the truck when I'm on the block. Ladies, they pay homage, but haters say Dre fell off. Pow, nigga, my last album was the chronic. They want to know if he still got it. They say rap change. They want to know how I'm in the hood. It's boys in the hood. Y'all want to why is the boys in the hood? Cause it's drugs in the hood. Drugs in the hood. Nigga killed the trip and the blood in the hood. It's boys in the hood. It's boys in the hood. I don't wanna know why it's boys in the hood. Cause it's drugs in the hood. Drugs in the hood. Nigga killed the trip and the blood in the hood. First don't fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side when we ride, come and quick with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Plus the fuck you trying to see me weak. What's I rip? Biggie Smalls and Junior Mafia some monk ass bitches. We keep on coming while we running for your juice. Steady gun and keep on busting.
shit, they love me. Black cup is black belly, like the belly belly. I take spit over rainbow shit. I'm a fan who got the silver duct tape on my tray and handle. The women in my life with confusion and shit. So like Nino and Jack, I'll catch that bitch. Look at me. This is the life I chose. Niggas around me so cold. Man, my heart run froze. I build an empire on the load and I'm damn. I'm smoking weed in my Mercedes. Hold up. These niggas broke, these niggas lazy. Man, they money slim, they acting shady. No, no, no. I'm in my brand new car, who wanna race? I'm happy we can all agree on this statement that I've concluded to. And yeah, I know, there's two snipers I still haven't gone over, and I'll come back to those in a bit. But when I went out of my quest to ask everyone, you might notice how the screenshot looks a little bit weird, and you know, my question for every single one of them has been, what sniper do you think is strongest for pvp which is why i blur out the other answers so it just makes it a little bit cleaner for you guys to read the main point but the first sniper and i think this is definitely either the best or second best depending on how you look at it and it's gonna be eye of soul walla told me this was his you know he thought this was the strongest sniper and then apparently he changed his opinion but the reason i think this sniper is so strong is because if you go snap opening, which, you know, is the most common sense perk pool on the sniper, you can go adapt, which can allow you to go adapt Icarus. And you want to try to make sure you get a hundred range. And I do honestly think this is the strongest weapon in PvP because the one thing I didn't tell you, the reason I want 30 AE is because you can pair it with, guess what? Heat rises. And that will give you a hundred AE guaranteed and 100 range and 100 AE will guarantee you to hit the shot that you're looking at. It, you cannot miss whatsoever unless you're off target. And on top of that, you can get up to 98 aim assist, you know, which I think is really good. And it's why I think, you know, I have Soul is the best sniper in the game. But the sniper I've been hiding from everyone is Borealis. Now, Borealis itself is... Uh, is an interesting weapon. You have the fundamentalist perks, which can choose between aim assist and stability, reload and AE, or, you know, just handling. And overall, I would say go void, because with void, you get insane stability, so you don't flinch. And on top of that, you get plus 10 aim assist, which I think is pretty good, especially in a high impact sniper. The higher aim assist the high impact has, the more dumb it gets, especially with the high stability it already has, which, you know, they usually don't. Stat-wise, this thing is a beast, and I really mean that. For overall gameplay, I would try it out, and every single person who has a clue on what they're talking about said it. That's why Walla and Synchro didn't say it, because they don't know what they're talking about. They're yapping around. Enjoy the best snipers in PvP.
I think that's the video's conclusion. Now what have you learned? I have saw the obtain unobtainable sniper is the best legendary sniper in the game. Second best is gonna be Borealis. Now I know like all the other snipers that I mentioned, at least in the S tier, are worth the pickup. Give them a spin, give them a try. They're there for a reason. But the two best in my opinion is always gonna be Borealis and I have Soul. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, because this video took really long, I would recommend to like and maybe even share amongst your friends that might need to get a little bit educated on watching a movie. That's basically what this is. This is basically watching a movie. I spent, yeah, too many hours, and I hope you enjoyed it at least. At least I can sleep well at night if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. I, I love you all.